hands me this. Just like this now. Okay? So I say, well, where's, where's the item, Granny? Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is your girl, Javicia, and I am back with another video. I'm going to get right to the point because I feel like Amazon has something against me, and I don't know what I did to deserve the type of treatment that I've been getting. This is the second time that I have purchased a high-priced item, and I get an empty package delivered to me. The first time it happened... I got a whole, so okay, let me backtrack. I wanted to try out some weave from from Amazon, okay? I heard that they have decently, decent quality products. I wanted to give it a try. I decided what I was going to do last minute for my trip to Vegas to celebrate my friend's birthday. Hey, Ashley girl. So I needed something fast. I ordered some bundles of weave to do this long slick ponytail, okay? Order comes the day before. I'm excited now. I'm going out to the door and I should have known something was up because that package was light, okay? That box was light. I opened the box, or I opened the package and the box is there. I opened the box and there's nothing there. You know how it'll have like a card, some lashes, and then the bundles, it was empty, y'all. Someone had went in, either went in the package and took out the bundles knowing what it was, or they never put the bundles in the package altogether. So when I got it, I'm like, Amazon just got me. Wow. Amazon just got me and I didn't spend no little bit of change on them bundles. I wanted decent quality bundles so I was willing to pay the price for them because I needed them in a short time frame. But baby, I was hot. I called Amazon hot, okay? The guy on the phone, you could tell he was working from home. He was laughing. He had his child in the background. I asked him, I said, does this happen a lot? He was like, unfortunately, ma'am, it does. But it, I can tell you were upset. And it is. he admitted it was funny. I'm calling by my bundles, sir. Where's my bundles? And after, I'm glad he got a little, you know, his little key key out. But he needed to run me back my money. And that's what I got. I got my money back. And I also got new bundles sent to me with no problem. I thought that was the end of my Amazon debacle. Debacle? Debacle. I thought that was the end of that debacle, but apparently Amazon just liked to send me empty packages. I, I gotta show y'all this video. So where I live, I have a camera on my... Um, my, I have a camera on my doorbell so I can see how packages get delivered. I also get notified when packages get delivered. Amazon also notifies me when they deliver a package. So once again, another high priced item. I get a notification, package has been delivered. So I'm running to the front. I'm just running to the front, excited y'all. So I say, I go outside, I don't see a package. So I, so I go, Granny, did my package get delivered? She goes, yeah. I said, well, well, where is it? She hands me this. She hands me this. Just like this now. Okay? So I say, well, where's, where's the item, Granny? Where's... She goes, that's how it came. 
Excuse me? I said that there's no way. I say you sure you didn't. And by the way, before I say this, I'm I'm surprised Granny don't be slapping me in my mouth sometimes because I tried it. I was just like, you you sure you didn't just open the package and don't remember? She was like, that's how that package came. I said, are you sh She goes, yeah, it was sitting under the um under the rug. I was like, so we got thieves in the area? Somebody done went and in the package took what was in the in the bag out and left the bag that's like a slap in the face now i'm mad because i feel like i spent my good hard coins to move to a nice neighborhood i never had any problems it's quiet i love it and now i got problems because i have thieves so i go pick up my phone okay and i pull up the app for my um doorbell okay so now i'm ready to see these thieves in action because now i'm ready to knock on each and every door to find them because i'm not gonna play this game i'm gonna be living here for an extended period of time as i pay off this mortgage so i refuse to have thieves in the area so i'm going to uh share with you guys the video i don't know how to blur this person out but at this point does he even need to be blurred out for the mess he just pulled in my front door <sighs> so you see the ups guy coming up right now just based on how he's holding the package you can see that it's empty oh he done put it down it's flying away, so he puts it under the mat and actually knocks on, has the nerve to knock on the door to let me come get this empty package. Really, sir? So not only did you bring this empty package, you can see him look down like this bag open. He puts it on the on the ground. It starts to fly away because what? Once again, that package is empty. So now he got to put it up under the rug. And then had a nerve to knock. He hit me with the, sir, what? Instead of reporting that this package is open, that there's nothing in the bag. You delivered it like nothing was wrong. Now, what if... Amazon wouldn't have refunded me my money because you delivered it as if it was full, as if there wasn't, it hadn't been tampered with. You tried it, sir. You tried it. So I politely got back on the phone with Amazon and called them again. I said, do we have a problem? Because it seemed like y'all have a high propensity of sending me empty packages please make it make sense because if I need to stop patronizing y'all business let me know because I buy items every week multiple times a week because if you guys know, follow this channel y'all know I have a side hustle where it allows me to make money every week in the form of Amazon gift cards so when I go do those missions and I get my my Amazon gift cards every week I spend them just as soon as I get them okay so I patronize Amazon on a daily so if that relationship is off let me know so I can go somewhere else and spend my hard-earned money but this is the second time y'all done, done deliver me an empty package. And this time, I got it on camera. Not only did I see that it was empty, the UPS driver that delivered it saw it was empty and still delivered it. Thankfully, when I talked to, uh, I can't remember her name, but when I talked to the girl, sweet little girl on Amazon customer service line, she refunded me right away. And then I was able to find the same product for a cheaper price can I get an amen okay so there was a blessing in that because I I think I was able to save $20 with another vendor 
I don't think that vendor was available when I actually purchased that item originally. But when I went back on, I was like, I don't know if I trust the vendor that I purchased from. Because at this point, I don't know if it was the vendor who never sent the item, if it was UPS, or if it was Amazon. No idea. But while I was searching, I found a better priced item. And so I went ahead and purchased that and she will be available and here on Tuesday. Now y'all already know if I had this problem again, I'm coming right back on camera to talk to y'all about this because I don't understand how Amazon can do that to me when I spend my hard earned money, my hard earned coin with your company. Anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm really annoyed. I really am and that's why I had to come on camera and vent to y'all in hopes that I feel better about this situation because when I talked to old girl on the phone, she really didn't want to have a conversation with me about our relationship. She was just trying to get me off that phone, which I get it, sweetie. You trying to meet quotas and response times, but I feel like y'all owe me that conversation because now I have to wait another four days for my order to get here. After I've already waited four days. She was nice enough to refund me my money right away, but I wanted to talk things out and she didn't want to talk. She didn't want to talk. She gave me my money and she was ready to go. So I just wanted to say this to y'all, let y'all know what's been going on in my world. If any of you guys have experienced this issue, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to talk to you guys about it because I'm feeling some type of way. And I need to know if anybody else has been experiencing this. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'm doing videos every day in October for Vlogtober. So you can go ahead and catch up on the videos you might have missed, as well as being notified of any videos to come. Join the community, like, share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.